Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 28th question from CBSC class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section C where each question is of 3 marks. Now this question is from the circles chapter. Two tangents TP and TQ are drawn to a circle with center O from an external point T. Prove that angle PTQ is equal to 2 times angle OPQ. Now let us try to understand this question by drawing a rough figure first. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle with center O as it was given in the question and there is an external point T through which two tangents are drawn that is TP and TQ which touches the circle at point P and Q. Now here in this question we have to prove that angle PTQ which is this angle is equal to 2 times the angle OPQ, that is this small angle. So here to prove this, we basically need two very important circle theorems. So let us first understand those two circle theorems. So the first one which we will be using here is the two tangent theorem. It states that if two tangents are drawn to a circle from the same external point, then the lengths of the tangents are equal. So you can see that I have drawn a circle here with center O and A is acting as an external point through which two tangents are drawn to the circle that is AB and AC. And according to the statement of this theorem, for example, if I take the length of AB as 10 cm, then the length of AC also default becomes 10 cm. That is the length of the tangents drawn from the same external point are going to be same. And the second circle theorem which we will be using here is radius tangent theorem. It states that radius or diameter of a circle always make a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it. Again you can see I have drawn a circle with center O and there is a point A through which the tangents are drawn at point B and C. Now according to the statement of this theorem, the radius OB and OC are the radius of the circle. So the radius always makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it. So OB makes a 90 degree angle with AB. Similarly OC also makes a 90 degree angle with AC. Now let us go back to our question. Now in this figure let us just consider the triangle PTQ. So I am going to erase this. Now according to the two tangent theorem we can clearly see that TP and TQ are the tangents coming from the same external point T. So the side TP will be equal to the side TQ of this triangle TPQ. So I have written here TP is equal to TQ by using two tangent theorem. So if two sides of the triangle are same, it represents an isosceles triangle. So the triangle PTQ is isosceles. After this, we are going to use the angle sum property of a triangle. And here you can see I have written angle T plus angle P plus angle Q is equal to 180 degree. And if you observe carefully the next step, I have replaced PQT by TPQ because the angle TPQ which is this angle will be equal to the angle TQP because of the isosceles sides. These two sides are same so their respective opposite angles are also going to be same. So in place of PQT, I have replaced it with TPQ. Next, these two angles are same. So we are going to add them together and write it as. So here TPQ plus angle TPQ will be 2 times angle TPQ. That is by adding them together. And we have taken the angle PTQ on the other side of the equal to sign. So we get it as 2 times angle TPQ is equal to 180 degree minus angle PTQ. Then we are going to take this 2 on the other side of the equal to sign that is the 2 divides 180 minus angle PTQ. So it becomes 1 over 2 times this entire 2 terms. Next we are going to open up this bracket that is we are going to multiply 1 over 2 with 180 degree. So half of 180 degree is 90 degree and then we are going to multiply this 1 over 2 with minus angle PTQ. So we get this as 1 over 2 times angle PTQ. Let us consider this as our equation 1. Next, we are going to make use of our second circle theorem which we just studied. That is radius tangent theorem. So let me write here. Now here it is the same figure which we had referred before. And here we are considering the radius OP. 
and according to the radius tangent theorem we know that the radius always makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent and in this case tp is the tangent and op is the radius so this entire angle opt is going to be 90 degree that is by radius tangent theorem we can also see that this big angle opt is broken up into two angles one is this small angle opq and the other angle is tpq that is this angle so we have written the angle opt as the sum of opq plus tpq and angle opq plus angle tpq equal to 90 degree because opt is 90 degree after this we are going to move this angle tpq on the other side of the equal to sign and we have got the value of tpq in terms of ptq so we will just replace it let me write down the steps so angle opq is equal to 90 degree the plus angle tpq becomes minus angle tpq and here we have replaced the tpq angle by 90 degree minus 1 over 2 times angle ptq that is from equation 1 then we have to just open up the brackets or expand the brackets that is 90 degree stays the same and minus times plus gives us minus 90 degree and minus of minus gives us plus so plus 1 over 2 times angle ptq so plus 90 degree and minus 90 degree will cancel out each other or they will add up to zero and we are left with angle opq is equal to 1 over 2 times angle ptq then finally we are going to take this 2 on the other side of the equal to sign so it multiplies with angle opq so we get angle ptq is equal to 2 times angle opq so this is what they had asked us to prove in this question so we have proved and to prove this we made use of two circle theorems one is the two tangent theorem and the other one is a radius tangent theorem i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and if you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you're liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching